Hey, what's going on guys? Zev here, and I am back with something a little bit more different than usual. This is actually something that I've been wanting to experiment with for quite a while, so I decided to go ahead and finally give it a shot. Now, what you guys may not know is that when I first started this channel a couple years back, I actually did a couple videos just like this where I discussed mild drama involving bronies. And, uh, it's safe to say that one of those videos didn't, uh, <laughs> turn out very well. And I did want to do more of these in the past, but for some reason I wanted to branch more into reaction videos. Wow, that's really sad. But yeah, I wanted to experiment with this kind of thing for a bit, because these are the videos that I personally enjoy watching. And this interest was actually re-sparked because of my girl Darkus. She recently went from solid background discussions to gameplay commentaries, and that really made me remember how much I love these kind of videos. And you don't see a lot of these videos with this kind of format in the Phantom, so that's a plus. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Alright, so let's get into what this video is really about. So on YouTube, you can actually find a good handful of Brony Cringe compilations, and around the time I wanted to do more of these discussions, I did want to get into doing something around these, but the videos are usually longer than what I'm comfortable with. Until... I stumbled upon this masterpiece. Now, I just want to say, I did see this about a year back, but that does not affect the amount of cringe that this carries. Look, I haven't watched a lot of brony cringe, but this? I already know that this has to be up there as one of the definite worst. This honestly has to be one of the hardest to watch videos I've ever seen. You guys remember the video of me googling ponies? You guys remember Jasper Pie? We come for your daughter, Chuck. Okay, it's not as bad as Jasper Pie. Okay, so I'm gonna stop hyping this up and just let it roll. I swear, guys, this is not easy to go through with. Oh, and also, just for context, it looks like that this is taking place at a panel during Everfree Northwest involving some of the MLP voice actresses. Which, by the way, if I don't make Everfree this year, I'm gonna lose it. Alright, let's roll it. So, anyway, <clears throat> we all know about the great bronies here, right? Yeah. Alright, but... Alright. Okay, we're already off to a great start. Let's see that one more time. But... Alright. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is what keeps happening up here. Somebody says closer, and the person goes... So this kid was asked to move closer to the microphone, which he has in the palm of his hands, and he moves forward two steps to get closer to it. And according to the old man, the kid is not the only one who's done this, so I guess I can't put all the blame on this poor sap, but wow, he definitely deserves credit for that surprising motor functionality. I want the mic right bumping almost into your chin, okay? Antiseptic foam rub Wait, hold on one sec. Look at this guy. You can tell he's not ashamed at all. He sees nothing wrong with what he just did. <clears throat> we know about everyone here and how great the show is, right? Yeah. <laughs> I honestly kind of love how enthusiastic this kid is acting. Just the way this kid is standing and talking. The title of this video is Autistic Spaghetti Brony Meets the Cast of MLP. Looking at this and comparing him to myself, because I myself have been diagnosed with autism, I would not be surprised if this kid is actually autistic. By the way, I looked into it and I'm not actually sure if this guy's online name is Autistic Spaghetti Brony or if he has a channel or anything, or if he's just another brony fag. I mean, either way, the end result is still brony fag. However, as most of us are aware, there's a darker side to the fandom which we know pretty well. To <clears throat> Mrs. Oliver and <clears throat> Miss Libman. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you're aware of Princess Celestia being portrayed as a tyrant, an internet troll, and god forbid a molester. And, and Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy on occasion. Okay, what? Now, I know there is a chance that this kid is actually autistic, but oh my god. This guy actually came to this convention, walked up to the voice actors of this little girl show, and thought it was completely okay to mention Princess Celestia's internet rapist persona. I mean, for God's sake, there are probably little kids here. I mean, look at the kid behind him. Jeez, this guy is so careless. God forbid a molester. And, 
and Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy on occasion. Wait a second. He was gonna go even deeper? The worst part is that God knows what the hell he was actually talking about. I mean, if you see Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy doing anything outside of the base show, then odds are it's not exactly convention appropriate. Also, he sounded like he was gonna go into something specific. Look, I do not know what this kid has seen, but the fact that he was gonna share it with all of us is just further confirming my autism diagnosis. Also, it's awesome how the old man took the mic away from him. This kid barely lasted a full minute, and it's incredibly awkward how quiet the audience is. He is not appealing to anyone. Oh my god, this poor kid. No. I'm uh, canceling this Yeah, question. so I'm gonna let you know from where All I right. stand, the darker side of the fandom yeah. is not part of uh, what I will talk about. It's not part of what the show's about. If you choose to do that, that's your choice. It's not why we're here, not why I'm here anyway. So, um, um, I, my name is Nicole Oliver. I voice Princess Celestia. I voice Cheerly, and I'm really glad you all like the show. <laughs> and I'm glad that it's helped a lot of people and you all have fun with it. We'll leave it at that. Hot damn, go Nikki. Not only did she calmly tell this guy off without being too direct with him, but she's also being really fair, open, and down to earth about the whole darker side of the fandom. Saying how that stuff isn't exactly why they're there, but not directly shaming people for enjoying it. Mad respect. But yeah, even though this was short-lived, this has to be one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Just the fact that he came to this public panel facing some of the biggest names of the show, not to mention its audience, and felt it was okay to talk about Princess Molestia and whatever Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie shit he was gonna get into. Oh my god, this kid just got done having the worst day of his life, I swear. Not only was he rejected and denied from speaking, but had to be told off by Nicole Oliver herself. I honestly wonder how this guy is doing nowadays. This is a fairly old video, so who knows where or even who this kid is. But for now, we're just gonna call him the legend who thought it was acceptable to mention molestation at an open panel for an audience of all ages. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Despite this being one of the most painful things I've ever had to sit through, it was actually a lot of fun. And try not to give this poor bloke too much crap. He probably really regrets this and he thinks about it all the time. So let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this and I'll be sure to shop around and see what I can find or feel free to send me some links on Twitter. Please be sure to like and sub for more Pony related content and I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have an amazing day. Peace out everyone.